More evidence tonight that we are continuing to rebound from the effects of the pandemic. For many, big changes could be coming with fewer restrictions, possibly on the horizon with the state COVID dial being retired on Friday. News says Erin Chapman, she is live in downtown Colorado Springs for us tonight with how some restaurant owners are looking forward, Erin. Yeah, Elizabeth, the mayor's office tells me that the county and the city don't plan to implement any further restrictions for El Paso County after the COVID dial changes on Friday. Oh, a big relief. Restaurant owners feeling hopeful. Glad to see the, the, the power shift back into the local hands. On Tuesday, Governor Polis announced that on Friday, all COVID-19 restrictions will be turned over to local governments. I like the fact that the county will have a little more shake. While some counties like Pueblo have said they will continue to enforce capacity restrictions in restaurants and businesses, El Paso County will not. This is according to both the mayor's office and El Paso County Public Health. Now there's a light at the end of the tunnel. While the announcement has many restaurant owners ready to open their doors at full capacity once again. It's nice to have some of those restrictions lifted because they've been sh shifting on us for the last you know, 12 months. It has some customers a little hesitant. I don't think that I would be happy with it, actually. It, it kind of scares me because COVID is still out there. But restaurant owners I spoke to say they plan to continue those safety measures until we are completely out of the pandemic. Guest safety, employee safety, um, so we still are going to follow protocols. One owner even says he plans to keep his restaurant's capacity at 50%, even though he'll be allowed to increase it. We're going to kind of keep it the way it was, uh, just because we like the feel of it uh, versus trying to crowd everyone in. One year of dial changes, capacity limits, and regulations. Now, just days away from ending. Now, Fremont County also told me that they won't be adding any more restrictions either. And I also reached out to Teller County and I'm still waiting to hear back. And also the mask mandate is still in effect until May 2nd. And public health and the governor could make changes in the future depending on those case numbers. For now, always watching out for you, El Paso County, Aaron Chapman, News 5.